Welcome back to another episode and today we're going to be aligning the other foot, well basically both feet to the steps and it's going to look something like uh, this. So yeah, let's go ahead and let's get started. So let's go ahead, let's dive into our rig once more and let's adjust the feet so that they would align with the steps properly. So what I'm going to do is really quickly just some small bit of reroutes and moving all of these nodes back because I'm going to be using the C route from this. So C route and again an empty C route for the sequence. Now we're going to be running another sequence. What a surprise. Okay. And so today we're going to apply some little bit of offsets to, to our feet. So uh, what we need to do is we need to grab our controls. So we need our left foot control and we want to go ahead and add an offset for this control. So that disconnected it. So I'm going to reconnect it, connect this to the A route like so. And we're going to need a new variable for this whole thing so that we can again do the animation slowly over time. So it looks a little better. So we're going to add a new variable and I'm going to call mine current offset foot underscore L. And this variable is going to need to be a float type and straight away I'm going to duplicate this for the right foot as well. Like so. And then once we have applied the offset, we're going to go ahead and set the new offset value for the, for the left foot. Okay, so that's that. Now, what we want to do is we want to grab our current position of the control. So we're going to grab our left foot control. We're going to get it. And similarly, like we did in the previous video, we want to go ahead and inverse this transform. And then we want to go ahead and do a transform direction. And then the end result of this can go into the uh, location for the control. So the result goes into the translation like this. Now for the direction, again, let's do the small accumulated calculations. So first we're going to need our left foot Z value. So foot Z L. So where it should end up in. And we want to do a subtract float and we want to subtract our pelvis value so that it would align properly. So we're going to grab our pelvis and connect it up like so. Then from here we can do the accumulate lerp float value which can then go into the z axis of the direction. So that's going to be for our z value like so. And then we can grab our current offset uh, foot l value and this is going to go into the initial value. And then again, we need to apply so that it is in delta seconds and give it some time to actually happen. And I'm going to say something like 10. Obviously, again, uh, experiment with these numbers. The higher you go, the slower the thing will take an effect. And then also this result value should be plugged into the current offset float. Foot L variable like so. Now for the other foot, we need to do exactly the same. So we're going to grab the right foot control. We're going to get the control. Then we're going to go ahead and add an offset for this control as well, like so. And I'm going to reconnect the execution to the sequence node, like so. And then what we want to do over here is, again, at the end of this, we want to make sure that we have set the current offset for the right foot float value. We're going to split the transform and do the math again. So we need again to inverse the right foot controls transform. Then we want to transform the direction. And then that can be our translation for the offset. And then we need to provide the Z value for the direction. So we're going to grab our foot Z right float value. We're going to again subtract the pelvis Z value again so it aligns properly. And then we can do our 
accumulate lerp float not this one we want to do accumulate lerp float which then goes into the z value and also it goes at the end over here for the current offset like so and then just like before again we want to grab our current offset foot right plug that into the initial value apply the same numbers as we did above in the uh, in the left foot and check that it is in a delta time and uh, I believe that's it so let's give it a go let's hit play and let's see what happens so if we have a look now you can see that the character is aligning its feet with the ground properly and here comes that 60 for the trace 60 value below um, so that if I ha go a bit higher it's going to do something like this. Now we're going to adjust. I'm going to show you some mechanics how we can patch this up so the character would either fall off or be forced back onto the stairs so he, he cannot stand like this because this looks very awkward. We're going to try our best to patch this up. But let me show you what happens if we provide more than 60. So if we go back to our rig, we locate our traces and let's say we do 100 in the end position. You will see that now our character is able to hold his feet even higher. So you can see this way. Now it starts to look a bit awkward, I would think, right? So that's what that number really does. So that basically tells you how far he can lift his feet up. So this value seems to be still okay. This one already seems to be a little too much. So again, feel free to experiment with this value like i said i found that 60 was the best value for me and everything else that will go above this i'm going to be forcing my character to move away from that location so he is not allowed to be in that specific uh, specific location so it doesn't look as awkward as it does right now but well this one was a short one that's going to be it for today now our character is aligning with flat surfaces and in the upcoming one we're going to go ahead and apply the same logic when it comes to angled surfaces like these ones. So yeah, that's going to be it. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And I see you in the next one.